Hi friends, welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. My name is Michelle and my sister Shell and I, we welcome or welcome you back to our channel. We're so glad to have you here. I know that I say that each time that I post, but truly I just appreciate you guys. My sister and I both do. We appreciate you being here. We appreciate all your support. We're so excited that you guys follow us, that you comment and that you've subscribed. So thank you to each and every one of you. It's a blessing to have you be a part of our channel. Now, I was out running errands earlier today, and when I was out, I was starting to think about one of the messages that, the, that a subscriber left me. And she said, you leave this area right here always the same. And you know what? I really do. And the reason I do that is because I've lost a lot of my family members. And so I keep a lot of my family pictures right here because it's so important for me to see them when I'm sitting across the couch. It's just, it's just something I love to look over and see my mom and my dad and my sister. So with that being said, I do know that I do have a decorating channel. So I thought I would change things up and change this out and give you guys some more inspiration. So I'm going to change this area in my home today. I'm going to bring in some different pieces and style it differently. And hopefully that's something that you guys will really enjoy seeing. I also have a few thrifted pieces. I'm going to show you how I style them. And I also have a trash to treasure. So I can't wait to share that with you as well. But let's get busy and let me go ahead and get started and decorate this. And you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments below. So let's get started. Okay, so here's where I'm gonna start. I've left this big tin picture up there. I also have these gold frames, some mirrors. That's gonna stay at the top. I have this lamp, and then I've taken everything else away, except for these beads. I really like these beads. I like the whimsy that it creates. So I'm definitely gonna leave the beads on here as well. So now that I've kind of given you an overview of what this look like, looks like let's start decorating but before we do that I want to take this um, feed and wax this is the best stuff I want to share this with you it is so great for your furniture it truly and nourishes it it's so great I this bottle has lasted me for years it smells so amazing but I use this on all of my furniture so I just want to share that with you real quick so now let me just share with you real quick this trash to treasure. Now, this is a thrifted little um, clay pot that I have. I got it for $2.98 at the thrift store and I love it. And then I have this topiary that died on me. It was a real plant, it died. And so instead of throwing it away, I am gonna turn it into a treasure. So I've got some greenery here from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure what this cost. I've had this for a long time. But I'm going to just take off sprigs and glue this to these wooden little stems. Now they're kind of brittle so I have to be careful. But I think this is going to make the most perfect topiary without me having to go buy one. So I was so excited that I thought to do this because I wanted to put um, a little topiary in this vase since I've thrifted it and I just haven't done that or haven't found one that I've wanted to purchase yet. And some of them are so expensive. So I think I'm gonna love the way this turns out. So here's kind of a quick look and then I, you have to stay tuned till later so you can see the overall look of it. But I think it turned out amazing. Okay, now let's style the top of this shelf. So I've got this crock and so I've just filled it up with some bags and then I'm going to just place this fern on top when I get the chance. So let's just take this um, crock and let's put it on the top by this antique tin that I have. And this is an antique ceiling tin. It's so pretty and I really have had it covered up with some other vintage looking pictures. but. I challenged myself, I've taken that down, and so I'm just gonna let this show and shine with all of its glory. Now, I'm gonna place my signature of my mom and dad. Now, this is in gold, um, and it picks up with the gold frames on the opposite side. So I love having that tie in on kind of both sides. Now, here's another little frame that I thrifted. I think it's so pretty with these florals, and I'm gonna add this to the side as well. So that gives me these three gold frames on one side. I've got the gold in the lettering. And now I have to put my picture of Jesus up. I love this. This is from an artist. Her name is Jenny Fowler. I found her on Etsy. I love this picture. I know I've gotten some flack about 
Jesus really didn't look like that. But it's just a representation of Christ, and I just think it's beautiful. And so I love just looking at this, and when I pray, and I just, just meditate on the Lord. It's just, I just love having it. And I would love to find an antique frame to fit it, which I haven't found yet, but I'm on the hunt for that. But for now, it's going to just sit up here like this. And now we're going to put this frame up here. And I really like how simple it is and collected. I think that's the perfect word for this. I think everything looks collected and I really like this look. You guys tell me what you think about how it turned out. Now this is the frame, the frame. This is the lamp that I got from Hobby Lobby when it was 75% off. So it was $109.99. I got it for $27.49 and I'm just have it sitting right here and I love this lamp over here on this side table. Okay, here's my next thing that I thrifted. And I actually got this on Facebook Marketplace a while back. I gave $5 for it. I love it. It's primitive. It's just such a cute little shelf. So I'm going to style it over here on this table. Now I'm just trying to get all my pieces together to see where everything is going to go. But now I'm going to style this peg rack right here. And I'm saying I'm going to place a fern. That's a wreath on one side. And then I think on the other side, I'm going to add my straw hat. I really want to display this hat. I think it's perfect to display during summer. So I just took some ribbon and I'm just going to hang it right here on this one side. Okay, y'all, here it is. Here is my trash to treasure little topiary tree. Don't you love how it turned out? I think it is perfect. So it just goes to show you that just because something doesn't look useful, be creative and find new ways to use things because I love how that turned out. Now I'm going to add some old books just to tie in some of these muted colors. I love this. Look at this beautiful binding on this book. So I was looking at this and I wanted to show you when it was published. It was published in 1889. Isn't that unbelievable? Oh, it is so beautiful. The other book I have, it has some damage to it. But look at this. Isn't this so amazing? So pretty. The Pathway of Life. And this one was printed in 1894. I love these books. So I love having the binding show instead of the pages on this one. And then I've just added one of those finials. It's really heavy to the side to kind of use as like a book, um, a book, what's it called? A bookend. There you go. Now I was just showing you this picture from Hobby Lobby. I actually got this at the last 75% off sale that they had last year. It's been in my daughter's room. So I just snuck it out to use it here. I think it's really pretty. And I'm going to hang it up right here. So I'm loving this. I love the muted colors. I think it's all coming together. Now on this little thrifted piece I have here, I'm going to use this tiny crock with the paper shred. Y'all know my love of paper shred. Got that over there. And then I love this box. This, this was what a little Bible came in, but I just love that really beautiful beige color. So pretty. And then I've got this sweet little jar. It's one of my other favorite things to display. So I'm going to add that right there. I'm loving how that looks right now. So you guys will have to tell me what you think. Do you like this? Here's another thrifted piece is this dually. It's so pretty. I'm just going to stuff it in one of these drawers. And I'm sorry. I always film with one hand and try to decorate with the other. I should actually put it on a little stand, but I just... I don't know. This just is how I've always done it. It just works for me. So anyway, that's what this is looking like. I love it. Now here's my other thrifted piece I found. Look at this iron stone. It's a butter pat, y'all. I've been looking for these for such a long time and I've had the hardest time finding some. I ran across them at the thrift store and so I was real excited to grab them. They were in a little bag all together. So I was excited to get them. 
and I'm just going to place these over here. I'm going to add some paper shred, of course, and then I'm just going to add this sweet little bird. Okay, look at this gorgeous vintage purse. I've had it for a long time, but I thought I would dig it out because I really haven't had it on display. It had a leather handle and that's broken off. So I just added some seam binding and I'm just gonna hang it on the other side of this shelf. I just thought it needed something else on this side. I did have it propped open with some greenery in it, but I thought I had too much greenery, so I took it out and I'm just gonna leave it simple. And then on this antique trunk underneath this table, since I have so much going on over here, I wanna keep it really simple. So I'm just gonna add a stack of books to kind of hide that plug. In, and then I'm going to add this crock which has been here before it just has some beads in it and and that's it I'm going to keep it really simple so here's the look you guys like I said tell me what you think do you like this look I really like it I'm afraid I'm going to really miss the pictures of my family but I'm willing to give it a try and hopefully this will inspire you and give you another idea how to decorate your entry table Okay, y'all, I lied. I want to add one more thing, maybe two more things. I want to add this old Bible. I love having them propped open. Another one of my viewers said she liked to do that too. So that touched my heart, made me think I was doing something right. So I'm going to open this Bible and then I'm going to place this key on top. And this was the key to my front door when I bought my home, which is crazy, but that's the truth. So I love having it over here as well. Okay, here it is, friends. Okay, I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to ask you guys, do you think that I took that picture back or do you think I kept the picture of the watering can? What do you guys think? If you voted for me to take it back, I did. I loved the picture, but I just didn't think it worked. Now, this is temporary, so don't get excited, everybody. I know this this is not going to stay. I was just trying to fill an empty gap. I was trying to hang it where the, the nails already were, so I know it doesn't look great, but these are some pictures that were hanging over on the entry above on that um, top shelf, and so I just added the other picture to the bottom. I had three of them up there. They're vintage pictures I made these years ago. I love these. So I just wanted to place them over here so this wall wouldn't be empty. But I'm actually looking for more of a cottage vintage picture to hang right here. I'll take the shelf down and just have this one picture. But for right now, I'm just kind of showing you what it looks like. But yes, I did take that picture back. So, and I appreciate all of y'all's advice, your comments. They mean so much to me. So thank y'all for always leaving a comment for me below. I just love you guys and appreciate each and every one of you. Before I go and I leave you with this Bible verse, be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. Consider what great things he has done for you. 1 Samuel 12, 24. 
You know, friends, I am in the season of my life where I'm praying for something very specific, and it seems like it's taking God forever to answer. And there's sometimes I get so discouraged, but you know, I love God with all my heart, and I want to serve Him with all of my heart. And I have to remember how faithful and good God is. So no matter where you're at in life, never forget the goodness of God. Guys, thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I look forward to seeing the next one. Bye, friends.